It is the team we turn to for all things weather because, after all, our weather staff are experts. But did you know that they also cook in the kitchen with the meteorologist today? Mid morning starts right now. WCBI's Mid Morning with Andrea, breaking away from your everyday. Good morning, everybody. They are here for us in good weather and especially in bad. Our WCBI weather team has logged many hours in the studio and in the field just so the rest of us can stay safe. Keith Gibson leads this team. He's our chief meteorologist. He also apparently knows his way around the kitchen. <laughs> sort of. I don't know if I know it that well, but I can do something. Well, you're sort of cooking off our meteorology moments in the kitchen okay. uh, with a, a tasty, zesty snack that you told me I'll be snacking on all day. You know, this is the season for grazing, right? It is. And it you is. just want to just go and graze and eat. And mm -hmm. that's what this little snack is. We call it Italian popcorn. My mom's been making it for ages. Uh -huh. I don't know why it's so good, but it is. All right, and so I asked you, you know, because we, we've talked about Chex Mix before, how it's one of those things you just keep going and keep going. Is this as bad? Same story, just wait for the reveal here. Okay. <laughs> it looks really good. And this is one of, like, one of those things that gets better with age. So we're ah. going to make a batch here, but mm -hmm. your best, if you make this, to just let it sit for a day and let it soak up all the juices and the aromas, and then once you open that bag, okay. it's gone. All right, well, what do we need? Okay, so what you need is some popcorn. Just go get your microwave popcorn and okay. two bags right here, two bags. Okay, we'll so you, I noticed you got light butter yes. here, so does it matter? Uh, it does not matter, but okay. just, for, we're gonna add butter to this, so. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> don't get the movie theater <laughs> version was, of it. <laughs> yeah, just get the light butter, just okay. kind because of, we're gonna be adding our own butter. So okay. there's two bags of popcorn right here, and okay. a big, big, huge salad bowl. My okay. brother got this for a Christmas gift not too long ago. All right. Uh, and then we throw in some freshly um, cooked bacon. Look at bacon, this. Bacon, people. Look at that. Who knew? Yeah. Bacon and popcorn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, that is not the bacon bits. That is oh, the real it deal. It smells good. I can smell you it, too. You got fried it up, that. Yeah. real crispy, mm -hmm. chop it up, and that's what you got to do. Okay. And then we'll take our melted butter. One stick of butter. We're gonna How much bacon did you do, by the way? I uh, cooked a pound. Uh, okay. So, I made a batch yesterday mm -hmm. that we will reveal, mm -hmm. and it just split it up. So okay. just about a half a pound per batch here. Okay. And then um, here's my butter, one stick of butter melted, and then we're going to add some okay. Italian seasoning mix, Ooh. some salad dressing here. So you pour that in. Oh, in the butter. Into the butter okay. first, and then we will stir this up. So we'll get this concoction going. It's uh, mm. looking very, very festive. You can already it smell does. it. And um. then. All you have to do is just... I can't get baths of bacon, though. I'm just going to tell you. I know that it's sinful. You Look just pour this. this, drizzle oh, this over here, gosh. okay? Pour, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. And then to... And look at how it just soaks into the popcorn. <laughs> it's withering away. <laughs> it is. And that's why... It ages well. I see. All that I got will it. just soak up in that popcorn. So is it going to be crunchy the next day? Oh, just hold tight. Hold tight. Okay. We will um, then take our Parmesan cheese, just about a tablespoon oh. of Parmesan cheese. Look mm -mm, at that right mm -mm, in there. Mm -mm. Okay. All right. And then... Oh, I smell that. Get yourself a big uh, spoon. Mm -hmm. Stir it all up like here. And then what you got to do is... Mix it all up nice that, and good. It really does smell good. Now, if you can help me with that uh, pan there, Andrea, what all we'll right. do is take this. So you're, there's some baking here. You were asking about the crispiness. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we take our big, huge batch mm -hmm. of popcorn and butter and bacon and Parmesan cheese. and get all, all that, the, just, all You got to get all the remnants oh, yeah, out of there. All <laughs> the remnants here. It's key to get the remnants. <laughs> Spread it in the 9 by 13 pan, something with edges. Look at that. Okay, you take this. Right here. Mm -hmm. Look at this guy. So or, my once this goes in the oven, my popcorn's not gonna no. do anything crazy. No, what okay. you do is like we'll take this, throw it into the oven mm -hmm. for fifteen minutes okay. at three hundred degrees. Okay. And that's just enough to get this to soak up the juices, bake it a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, tenderize it a little bit, crisp mm -hmm. it up a tad. Get the butter in all the right places. Yeah, and it looks very good here, but it tastes even better once you bake it. You gotta bake it. One of the best parts of this segment, aside from trying this in a moment, is sharing your Christmas photos and your family photos. <laughs> We've yes. got to show the folks. Who Look is at this that. guy? I don't know, but uh, I'm kind of jealous of that guy's uh, blonde hair, full head. And of look hair, at actually. him, and he's got a tricycle there. I can it looks like for Christmas. There's my brother, my brother John. <laughs> And these are way back in the... So is your brother older or younger? My brother is a few years older. Okay. And these are way back in, from the late 70s to oh, early 80s. Look at those outfits. <laughs> I know, right? I tripped down memory lane. But I was a kid of the 80s. Look at the Pac-Man yes, machine. Yes, but you know those are like back in style now. People are going retro with the video games. Things come full circle. So Is Christmas morning not just the best thing when you're that age? It really was. And I just remember waiting 
to go to bed the night before and he mm -hmm. would wake up and see the tree with all the stuff on it. All, it all miraculously appears and then yes. you spend the rest of the day grazing on mom's. And speaking of miraculously oh. appearing, so that's right. the, f that's uh, the. After it's been in the product. oven for 15 minutes. This is like the finished product. It looks very similar. And well, this is the aged version, correct? This is the aged well, version. I, I, so go know. ahead and try that out. It is very good. Oh yeah. I mean, you have. Keep. I'm trying not to choke on this, but you have one piece, and it just all I need leads you to the whole It's a 12 ounce can of Sprite. That's all I need. You do. Can somebody get me a Sprite? So this is one of those perfect party foods. It is. That you just may want to make if you're hosting something, and uh, it's buttery. It's cheesy. And they're telling me I have to go. Okay, this well. This is fantastic. It'll we'll be enjoy. on our Facebook page if you it want will. the dessert. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Mm, 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 mm. Welcome back, everyone. Our WCBI Sunrise and Midday Meteorologist Alex Puckett is up bright and early every day. This morning, he is here with us in the kitchen as our weather team shows off their cooking skills. Alex would probably tell you he's a little bit more at home on the grill, but this morning is sausage balls. That's right, and this one is a great one for those family get-togethers for the breakfast because mm -hmm. we're going to be cooking something special for, uh, for for maybe lunch or dinner. Right. But w breakfast can sometimes become an afterthought, and this is just sort of the easiest recipe. It's quick. There's not too much to it, so this is a good one to go to. I tell you, these, they're great for breakfast, but if they're left over, people just kind of graze on them all day. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, this is the one where it, it seems to happen every year to me. You, you get invited to a Christmas party, and then last minute, you're like, oh, we've got the Christmas party today. So, sausage balls. Sausage balls, because right. it's three ingredients. You can make it really, really quick. All right, what you got? This one's really easy. Uh, we take some of the uh, the biscuit the biscuit mix. Mm -hmm. Whatever uh, your brand is. Whatever brand you want to use. I've already got some in the bowl. We use two cups of that. Okay. Uh, and then a full pound of your favorite breakfast sausage. Okay. Uh, I tend to go for the mild, especially if you're going for, you know, uh, a bigger group of people. Right. Not everybody wants the spice. Yeah, I like yeah. the spice. If you're just doing it for you and a couple of people and you know it's cool, yeah. go for the spice. But All I right. tend to go with the uh, mild and just get the whole tube in there. All right. So you don't have to brown this first? No. Okay. We're going to bake these awesome. in the okay. oven. Now, I know some people have done them before and they will brown the meat first and drain it all off. But if it's not necessary... No, no, yeah. that, no need to do that here. Okay. And we will add, uh, you're going to add, uh, this is going to be one bag, it's two cups okay. of uh, sharp cheddar cheese. I, Ooh, I sharp. like the sharp like cheddar. The sharp, okay. Yeah, I like the sharp. That adds a little bit, a little bit of bite, yeah. especially if you're not using the, uh, the hot sausage. Sure. And so you're going to just mix all this together, get your hands dirty. This is a recipe that you've got to get the hands dirty. That's right. It, two, two best tools that you have in the kitchen are your hands. I so totally agree with that. You've got to work this together. So this is one that your family really enjoys for both Thanksgiving and Christmas. This is, oh yes, any any family get together is is sausage balls every time we get together. And this is one that usually my mom makes, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, I like to make it uh, now that I'm off on my own. Uh -huh. This is one that I'll make for uh, get togethers the as well. The crew appreciates this morning because I think that means we're going to get some sausage balls. Absolutely. Now, and these can be served just as is. I think some folks will serve like jelly with it. Mm -hmm. I've even heard of like a stone ground mustard, which would be nice. Oh, yeah. Uh, but uh, again, our family just typically all just by itself. Just graze all day on them. So, sausage balls for breakfast. Then, after breakfast, Thanksgiving in your family, what's on the menu typically? Is it turkey, dressing, stuffing, all of that? Turkey. We always have a turkey. Uh, there's mm -hmm. usually, it seems like a lot of times there's a ham too. Mm -hmm. Give people that option. I do enjoy the ham. Uh, there's always some uh, cream potatoes. In my family, it's never mashed, it's cream potatoes. Cream potatoes. potatoes. Absolutely. Uh -huh. uh, and of course, so the. Do, your, uh, the do mom and dad and grandma and all of them cut the potatoes or do we go for the box mix? Oh, no, 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 it's, it's cut potatoes. Cut potatoes, and, and, okay, because oh, you got to get the lumps in there. <laughs> yes, just a few lumps, but it's very smooth. Ours, mm -hmm. ours is, there's a few lumps in there, but, but it's, it's definitely a creamy texture. With rather or than without a, the gravy for you? I don't do gravy. Don't do gravy. I don't do gravy. Now, we all have uh, the uh, cornbread dressing mm -hmm. as well, which is always uh, really nice, and we like a nice wet dressing as well. All right, so now I think you've brought some pictures to share with us. Yes. Uh, uh, who are these people? <laughs> so that is me along with my mom and uh, my brother and sister. I'm on Santa's lamp there, uh -huh. and then that's my brother and sister with my mom. They're twins. Oh, okay. They are uh, three years younger than me, and uh -huh. they are twins. Well, you're a good big brother. 
well, to them, or were you a nuisance big brother? A <laughs> little bit of both, I think. A little bit of both, all right. What's your favorite memory around the holidays? Is it just getting together with families, with the food, the gifts? Well, I mean, I think you can tell by looking at me, I enjoy the food. <laughs> we I do all enjoy, enjoy the, food. the food. Absolutely, but uh, getting together with the family, I think, especially now that I'm getting older, I really appreciate mm -hmm. being able to spend time with family. I can remember going, you know, it used to be my grandparents' house. Sure. That's where we would uh, get together. And especially once you have sort of set up your own home and you're away from family, mm -hmm. the perspective totally changes about holidays and all that. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right, so you're rolling up now. We're at that yep. point. So what we're going to do is I tend to like to just roll them by hand. All right. I, you know what? I'm going to grab a little bit and help Absolutely. you out. And you can make these as big or as tiny as you want, yeah, right? Yeah, I tend to like to go about this size mm -hmm. simply because I know if I go about this size, it's going to take in my oven about 15 minutes to cook at 350 degrees. Okay. Uh, if you go with a bigger sausage ball, it's going to take a little longer. Um, if you want do, do I need these, to grease the pan at all for I, this? I, I typically would. We haven't greased this pan, but okay, we, could, we could take them back off and grease it. Uh, but uh, one of the things, if you do want to do them ahead of time and freeze them, mm -hmm. our family just usually does them the night before and puts them in the fridge. Okay. So you just pop them in first thing in the morning. If you want to do it several days ahead and freeze it, you can, mm -hmm. but go with a smaller sausage ball. Okay. So that uh, it can cook through in the oven. But One little tip Alex gave me before we came on is that if you're taking them, you're making them at home and transporting them so that you don't have to worry about your dish afterwards or cleaning them, just go get a little dollar dish like this. Absolutely. <laughs> go to your favorite dollar store, yeah. get one of these dollar disposable mm -hmm. aluminum foil pans so that way you don't have to worry about cleaning any dishes when you're done. All right. Pop these in the oven, 350. They're going to be tasty. There's our finished product right there. We're going to have some shortly. Alex, thanks so much for sharing your recipe. Thank you for having Happy me. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you. All right. Stay with us, everybody. We'll be right back. All right, we're back, everybody. He's our newest member of the WCBI weather team. Jacob Riley is here in the kitchen with us this morning making a one of his famous specialties, I guess, side items, Jacob. Yes, what my, this is my one of my favorite things to eat at Thanksgiving. My grandma makes it. We call it mac and double cheese. Ooh, and double there cheese. There is plenty of cheese with this mac and cheese, so it's uh, one well, of my favorite for sure. Well, we're looking forward to it. I have to ask you, though, when you took this job a few months ago, did you know that cooking was required at some point? I did not. There's a little <laughs> segment there that says other duties is assigned, and this, this is, is one of this those. This is one of those, for sure. <laughs> yes. Well, what do we need for our double mac and cheese? Yeah, so you want to start off with about a half a pound of macaroni, um, and I I just get the usual, the elbow noodles, mm -hmm. that's what I like the best. So that's what I get. You want to boil those um, until they get boiled, re until they're ready. And then mm -hmm. once, while those are boiling, what I like to do, um, you also need six ounces of pet milk. Okay. And then you're going to need eight ounces of some, like cheese ball, like Velveeta cheese mm -hmm. to mix that together. Okay. And that's what we have going in the microwave right now. Okay. And then once that gets done, I'm going to go ahead and pour these into this pan. Okay. Since we've got those done boiling now. All so right. So we'll go ahead and we'll pour those in there. You need this to get some of those out? Yeah, that might help just a little bit. All right. Oh. I asked you before we came on, is mac and cheese for you a side item or is it a meal unto itself? Ah, because know. some people just like it, they'll eat it as a meal. Right, it really depends. I can eat it for either one side okay. or full portion. It depends on how hungry I am. All right, but, but at Grandma's <laughs> house, it's a side. Yes, for sure. Yes. <laughs> okay. At Grandma's house, this is a side. All right, so we got that uh, melted. Yeah, we've got our Velveeta and our pet milk melted. Again, that's going to be six ounces of pet milk and eight ounces of the Velveeta cheese block there. Okay. So, and this, this portion size will serve, can I see that spoon for sure, you? there you go. This will serve about six people, mm -hmm. and the amounts that I'm telling you, those are easy to double. In fact, that's what we usually do of on course, Thanksgiving. Of course, because I don't know this will go very far in my house. Yes, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> but that pet milk and Velveeta cheese, you just want to make sure it gets evenly distributed over all the noodles there. All right. Get that real Should creamy Should I give it a little stir and yeah, kind of get it in there? Mind, yeah, sure. Just kind of mix it around in there pretty evenly. I would not say that I know my way around the kitchen very well, but I can stir. <laughs> I can yes. make this happen for Stirring you. is one of the easiest parts. All right, it. so you got that mixed <laughs> so in. Yeah, so we got the no the noodles boiled. We got the cheese, Velveeta all in there. Mm -hmm. And this is the double cheese part that comes in right now. So all you're right. going to get about a cup of shredded cheese. You can get whatever kind you like. I like sharp cheddar myself. Okay. So that's what we're going to put on it today. You just kind of evenly Put that all over uh, the top, yummy. cover the entire... Sharp thing. cheddar is a thing for the WCBI meteorologist because yes. Alex Puckett made sausage balls and he prefers sharp cheddar. Yes, he beat me to the sausage balls. Mm -hmm. That's another one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for sure, but you just kind of spread that all the way over there evenly throughout. 
And then after you get all the cheese on there, you and can't of course, have if there's, <laughs> I'm about to say, if you want more cheese, by all means, add more oh, cheese. Yes, add as yeah. much as you want, but that's pretty much it for it. And then once after you put the shredded cheese on top there, mm -hmm. you'll just stick it down in the oven. Okay. Leave it there for about three minutes is a good guess. All right. Well, we put it in our magic TV yes, oven. Magic TV oven. Uh, one of my favorite parts of this segment is showing off pictures. Yes. And we have some pictures of you growing up. Now, who is uh, this cute little thing here? That was me. I was not even one month old yet. There's me, and my little brother Austin, around Christmas time as well. You have not changed. <laughs> Look at that. Is the Jacob yes. Riley we know right now? That's you on the there right, I am. right? Yes, that's me on the right. My little brother on the left. We were always had a good relationship growing up. Christmas time was our favorite time of year too as you can see with all the pictures uh -huh. there. more closer to Thanksgiving though they're playing in the leaves at grandma's house so mm -hmm. but for sure what's the age difference there <laughs> we're about four years and four months apart okay so, yeah he's a senior in high school this year getting ready to graduate oh wow it's crazy so what does he think <laughs> about his brother being on TV like telling the weather <laughs> he likes it he actually you know a lot of people say Weatherman, the only job where you can be wrong and still get paid. Hey. But he he sticks up for me. He picks up this like hand. I tell him he handles my lot weight for me. Do you but. tell him to tell people you're not a weatherman, you're a meteorologist? Yes, <laughs> so a meteorologist, not a weatherman. But. All right, so we have got the yes. macaroni and double cheese out yes. of the oven, and look at that. Can the I give it a try? Finished product, yeah, for sure. We'll cut a couple of. I'll let you do the yeah. cutting, Andrea, if you want to. All right. Cut a couple slices out of there. So will you have mac and cheese at Thanksgiving? Oh yes. You will. If Turkey. I have to make it myself we will have mm -hmm. it <laughs> i'll make you a little bit here awesome. thank you and i'll get you a fork too all right dressing and yes turkey, turkey dressing, dressing ham or family staples with us mm -hmm. so carb delight right yes. for thanksgiving yes, i mean you sure. just got to go with the carbs let's see macaroni yes. and double yummy mm -hmm. you really can't go wrong with mac and cheese for sure this is perfect i love the double cheese on top of it, it gives it a little bit of a crispier mm -hmm. texture too it does but and also, what I like to do as well, I forgot to mention it in the noodles, actually three tablespoons of butter. You make sure you want to do unsalted butter for that, because that's really the key, the secret to it. You use butter, not margarine. So There's butter sure, here, huh? Yes, unsalted butter, three tablespoons of it. And again, this recipe is really easy to double in size, especially for holiday meals. All right, butter not margarine thank you yes. so much jacob no thank we you never knew you cooked so now you have to come back again right <laughs> okay, i'd be happy to <laughs> happy thanksgiving be safe you going too. home okay Thanks. all right we will be right back uh with the original wcbi cook <laughs> jacob dickie's in here next we'll be right back cooking up a storm is brought to you by kroger fresh food low prices Welcome back, everyone. We are in the kitchen all morning with our WCBI weather team. You're probably used to seeing our weekend meteorologist Jacob Dickey here cooking up a storm, and usually Jacob is making dishes in the crock pot. But this morning, we have a secret family recipe you're going to share with us that does not involve a crock pot That's at right. all. I had to bring out the big guns because the other meteorologists are starting to cut in on my <laughs> cooking up a storm action here. So we got the big equipment. I we know. Got the good that is very fancy equipment, by the way. Uh, this is actually a Christmas gift that I got. Uh -huh. So uh, really fun to have. I got that a number of years ago from my mom. She said, you're using mine enough. I'm getting you your own. And so All right. Very cool. There. All yeah. right. So you're making your grandmother's special cookies. Yes, Grandma McGee's world famous chocolate chip cookies. They may not be world famous yet, but at the end of the segment, they will be world famous. Okay. We're putting on the World Wide Web and getting out there. Be a lot of fun. Uh, it looks like there's a lot of ingredients, and it's a little bit different from a traditional chocolate chip cookie, but mm -hmm. I tell you, worth every bite. And this recipe, too, we make so much that you actually will freeze the dough into logs, mm -hmm. and that allows you to put the dough in the freezer, and mm -hmm. when you want some cookies, just cut, Kind of like the cut and bakes that you exactly get at the right, store. Exactly okay. right. So this All is right. a great recipe for that. So what so, do we need? Well, we're going to get started here, and uh, we'll start with our, our stand mixer, or if you ha need a you know, whisk or whatever, you can do mm -hmm. that too. We'll start with our butter, and I've mm -hmm. got some softened butter here that I've left out on the counter. I'm going to do two sticks of it and drop it on in there, and that's... Uh, when it starts with two sticks of butter, it's going to end up really good. It's going to be good, absolutely. Mm -hmm. so there's one, and there's two, and I'm going to cream it together with my sugars. Mm -hmm. I've got one cup of brown sugar, and one cup of white sugar. Okay. And pour that in there. All right. So yep. creaming the sugar and the butter. That's right. Yep. Step. And then I'm going to also add two eggs. Now the eggs, I had the butter sitting out. I also have the eggs sitting out. I want them to be room temperature. Okay. That's actually a secret. If you ever make a pie crust, mm -hmm. room temperature What's eggs. What's the purpose of room temperature uh, eggs? It allows the fats to mix together really well for the butter and the eggs. Oh. So it comes out a little bit better. Okay. And it's easier for the butter to mix in too. So. That's a brand new eggs. one on me. That's sort of a scientific cooking there. A I little think. bit, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and really, really, when it comes to cooking in the crock pot, I'll be honest, you can throw things in the crock pot and have mm -hmm. it come out good. But in the baking world, mm -hmm. 
you gotta have the exact ingredients. So I'm gonna put that in there, lock it. I get the right button there. All right. And slowly stir that without making too much of a mess. That's gonna cream together. You just want it to be a nice, even consistency there. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it'll be real simple. After this, then I'll add my flour and mix that along with a little bit of vanilla. Mm -hmm. And then we'll add in our, our special secret ingredients okay. that really make it that. That world famous cookie. So, all right. Now, are, now, are these cookies something that your grandmother would bring to family events, or when you guys were at her house, when she always had these. We, she always had these. When we went to her house. Mm -hmm. uh, perhaps my favorite memory is these cookies here. One time, she instead of the sugar, mm -hmm. she had one cup of salt in there. Ooh, that was that was a fun that, memory. We yeah. ate. I was like, oh, these are really good, Grandma. But uh, she knew, and we were just, you know, we'd laugh. You about played that. along. Oh yeah. So you can see the mixture here. How the consistency mm -hmm. of that is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add in my flour. All right. And I've got two cups of flour in there. And I'm just going to mix that on in. All right. And what that'll allow to happen is then it'll turn into a nice dough consistency. Mm -hmm. Seems like I'm making a mess. Wouldn't be a show without a mess, right? Well, and good cooks make a mess in the kitchen. It's That's just what right. happens. Oh, yeah. My, uh, my kitchen's a little messy after I bake, but. And you know, you need one of these sort of level blenders when you start getting dealing with dough. When it's just batter, you probably can get by with one of the others. Oh yeah. But this so, is a little better. A little bit, yeah. And this too actually, shredding meat. You can shred chicken ah, in here really easily with okay. a paddle blade on there. Works out great. Okay. Uh, one of my, my secret things that I do. Oats. Last thing we're gonna do is I got two cups of, of oats here and mm -hmm. I did the, um, right here, these are the Quaker Quick Oats. Mm -hmm. And I went with those. That's gonna be a little bit better than say the steel cut blend or anything like that. Okay. And then I've got a mixture here. I got half a cup of pecans that I've chopped finely mm -hmm. and then half a cup of coconut. Coconut, that up too. okay, yeah. that's a new one. Yeah, so we're gonna add that in there. And the All coconut's right. sweetened. And then of course, Chocolate chips. Chocolate so do you chips. go with semi-sweet, all the way sweet, milk chocolate? I went with semi-sweet. That's okay. what we grew up on. Okay. You can do whatever you want. You can do dark chocolate, milk chocolate, right. whatever you While want. While you're blending the rest of that, you've got some pictures to show. Speaking of family and going to I Grandma's do. house. Oh boy, this is scary. I said so a bunch of, we'll see what she let's picks. Let's talk about some favorite memories at Grandma's house. Oh, there's one. There's that Grandma Grandpa's house. They always had the uh, wagon out there, and uh, that's all my cousins on my my Grandma McGee's side. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can see two of my brothers there, some cousins. That's on my dad's side there. Ah, uh, okay. So you see my dad in the top left. Mom's there. Mama Dicky. Oh you boy. always see these. There it is. You remember the story of the candy store? Did we ever talk about that? We did not. I have a candy store. I think we did that on, a, on the porch with Mama Nikki. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd have a candy store. I'd sell candy and make ah. money that way. Ooh, there's a fun one. Uh, the town Christmas parade, the local news station came, and I, ha I was a weather watcher for them. So lots You've of great You've been at memories. this a Christmas while, huh? This whole always... news, weather oh, yeah. thing, Destiny, cooking. Destiny, right? Something. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So, all, right. all right, we got the mixture here real quick. Okay. What we're going to do is we'll dump that uh, onto wax paper, or I love using parchment paper, mm -hmm. and uh, you can roll it into logs and freeze it for overnight. Okay. Once you do that, then the cookie's cut just like a slice. What if you down. don't, what if you've done this same day? Does this, is this okay to go ahead and put it in your It will be, sheet? but it'll be a lot better if you can get that the night before. And... Okay. Can yeah. I taste it? You because taste I'm, I'm sure. Yeah, go for it. Grab a bite. Grab because a bite. that's just what I do when people I love are cooking. I love dough too, but the night before, um, you know, or even two days. Who before. Who tell somebody else who loves cookie dough? Keith Gibson. Yeah, I bet he does. He does. He's just save this and we'll finish it. <laughs> no, so this here um, is really good too because you can make this days ahead of time. Put mm -hmm. it in the freezer. Less mess, less stress when it comes down to the holidays. Day of, cut them, put them in the oven. That's good. Put them on parchment paper in mm -hmm. the oven on 350 for 8 to 11 minutes. Okay. And then you're done with these right So here. what is the secret too? Because some people like crunchy cookies. I like very moist, chewy cookies. So what is the secret to making them come out moist and chewy? And I'll let you give it to us after the break. Because okay, they're we'll telling me a wrap. <laughs> we'll be right back. All right, we're back, and we've decided, or I've decided, that the best way to get them nice and chewy is just about three fourths of the way done. That's take right, them out yeah. and then let them sit for about. I also minutes. forgot. I had a little vanilla. I put in a little vanilla and a, then a teaspoon of baking soda and baking, uh, a teaspoon of salt. Mm -hmm. I added that in there and mixed it. And I forgot to mention that. I got so excited because these I are delicious. And milk. Santa will love Let's you. Toast to some milk. Mm -hmm. These are great. All mm -hmm. the recipes that everybody has made this morning will be on the mid-morning Facebook page or you can have sausage balls and popcorn and all that other good stuff and top it all off with Jacob's cookies. That's right. That's right. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you too. We're looking forward to lots more in 2019 of cooking oh, with you for it's sure. Oh, going to be fun. Big all plans, right. right? Absolutely. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. We've got cookies for breakfast. See you next time.